My name is Tom Williams. I'm a recovered alcoholic. So the first time I drank, I was uh, in eighth grade and some older friends that I knew bought us some liquor and we were in a house and I drank. But I drank alcoholically from the first time I drank to a blackout. That alcohol did for me what life wasn't doing for me. In 1994, I got married and this character defect worked into that marriage and heard it. I walked into my first AA meeting. I had embarked on a period of sobriety that lasted eight years. I ended up getting divorced from my first wife. In that period of time, about a year went by and I had got to a place where I thought, maybe, maybe I wasn't an alcoholic. Maybe I could drink. I'd caught in a new career. I was in the fitness industry. It'd been eight years. I was living up in New Jersey. Things were going pretty well. I'd been really separated from all those things that defined me when I was drinking in my 20s. So I was going to a NASCAR race out in Las Vegas, Nevada, and decided, you know what? I'm gonna try it when I go out there because no one will know. And so I had a few drinks there and nothing happened. Then I decided maybe I could just get hammered once in a while. I went to a party, some friends had some cocaine. And so I thought, well, the Las Vegas experiment went well and even getting hammered once in a while was going okay. So I'm gonna give this a shot too. That first episode of cocaine is what started the immediate crash. From that day came a year of unbridled destruction. I spent one month in a room drinking or doing drugs 24 seven until that moment on January 9th where I knew I had to do something, I would be dead. I was sitting on the edge of my bed in my room with a half a bottle of vodka and really thinking, how did I get here? How could this have happened to me? How did I find myself here and how could I ever go back? And I knew it was life or death at that moment. I could either go on till I was dead or I could make that surrender. And I picked up my phone and I texted a very good family friend and said, I'm gonna drink until I die. And people came to the house, somebody ran in, grabbed the bottle from me. I went to sleep that night shaking and I woke up the next day to find a phone number next to my bed. And the phone number was to my sponsor, to John. And I knew, you know, I was gonna have to call him. And I'd been out for five years, you know. After all this time, I mean, what's he gonna say? And I picked up the phone and I called him and I asked him if he would help me. And without even one hesitation, he said yes. That he's been waiting for that phone number to show up on his speed dial for five years. And do you have a place to stay? And he had nothing to tell me, no yelling, nothing. He was just immediately wanted. And that love that I felt from him made just like I felt a whole weight lifted knowing at that moment, I think everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. And that started me back on a path of truly being recovered. I went up and met him and we started the process over again. He ran a retreat here in New Jersey. So the first thing I did of course was find the first retreat I could go to. I, I showed up at that first retreat and knew I was home. And it has me 12 years now today sober and I've never even thought about a drink or a drug right to this day. And that is the huge difference that you get from came to believe recovery. It gives you a solution to those problems that were underlying my whole addiction. We offer a path that people not only don't drink anymore, but they get their entire life back through came to believe recovery. Today, I feel there's a peace, a serenity, a joy, a confidence that I never had before and an ability to make decisions. I have an empowerment now that is just far beyond anything that drugs and alcohol ever did to me. Came to believe recovery has filled my life. All those voids that I was being filled by alcohol are now being filled by these positive things and they are 10 times better than whatever the alcohol and it was much more fulfilling. I went through the steps in a weekend. One, do you want to get better is what Clarence Snyder used to say. This 12 step program was never meant to take months or years. It was meant to relieve the addict from the obsession right away. I've learned that there's nothing that I can't try to do. 
or nothing I couldn't be successful at. I went back to college six months after I got sober at 42 years old, after not having been in school for 22 years. Came to believe recovery's primary mission is to solve brokenness in everyone worldwide. The family, the gang, the whole group, the leadership, the message, and the support that I get today all came through Came to Believe Recovery.